Thanks, Bonnie. I am back. Happy Sunday night. So I actually wanted to talk a little bit about all the new aromatherapy that is arriving at Bath & Body Works because I actually think semi-annual sale might be a really good time to get discounted aromatherapy because it seems like they're redesigning all of their packaging. So back, I want to say it was before Halloween, I can't remember the exact date, we saw that Stress Relief got a really updated new kind of sleek zen packaging, kind of like a, um, almost like stone pattern on top, and then the bottom is this colored band, and then all of a sudden we saw a lot of products with the same packaging style. So I'm kind of wondering if this is going to be an across the board redesign of all of the aromatherapy and as they get new products it's going to be in the same kind of style. I don't know how I feel about that because I do like um, the brightly colored bottles but I'm fine with this. This is actually a really pretty design. So right now I'm going to go through the four scents that are pretty prominent right now that are new in aromatherapy, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about what kind of stuff you might be seeing for some annual sale, because I have a feeling they're going to be clearancing off all of the old packaging. That is my guess, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong before, but it kind of makes sense. So... Hopefully you guys were able to pick up a lot of this cool aromatherapy uh, stuff yesterday at Body Care Day. So first up we have the Eucalyptus uh, Spearmint, which is stress relief. This one is probably the strongest scent that Bath & Body Works currently has. It is very strong on the Eucalyptus, very strong on the Spearmint. I do like it. Sometimes it's a little bit overwhelming. But we have a ton of products. We have a bar soap. We have a scrub. Um, we've got the bubble bath. Tons of products in the eucalyptus spearmint. Um, it's kind of like their flagship of the aromatherapy. So this is the new packaging um, that obviously won't be on sale for semi-annual sales. So then they brought out a new collection, which is actually really good, you guys. Um, and these are all called Sleep, <laughs> which is kind of cool because who doesn't need a cool sleep product here? Um, my favorite one, I think, is the Cedarwood and Vanilla in the Gray. Um, this one is Cedarwood Oil and Vanilla Absolute. And it's funny, what made me even um, think about doing this video today is because I found new... Uh, aromatherapy soap today in the new packaging. So I was like, I gotta talk about this. So cedarwood and vanilla, I think is my favorite. I've actually, um, I gotta, I usually keep about three or four different scents on my nightstand. Strawberry pound cake's one of them. But lately I've really been enjoying this um, cedarwood and vanilla. It's a really relaxing scent to me. This one's supposed to promote uh, soothing feelings, calms the mind. <laughs> This one smells amazing. Um, I think this is my favorite of the new group. Um, then we have the chamomile and bergamot. The only thing that's a little bit confusing about the packaging is it all looks alike. So you got to kind of look to make sure you know what you're getting. Um, that's the soap I got today. That's why I wanted to do this video to kind of point out um, that I did get the soap. I'm like, wow, that's kind of cool. Especially if you had your bathroom kind of designed in a way that you wanted to kind of like, I don't know, decorate with one scent, your favorite scent. So this one is chamomile and bergamot. This is my second favorite one. Um, I do like the chamomile in this one. This one also smells very, very relaxing. I like this one a lot. And like I said, when I bought the soap today, I was like, you know what? I got to do an aromatherapy video. Oh my gosh, I love this soap, you guys. You could create like a really cool for January, like a zen relaxing bathroom, get a few lush bath bombs. <laughs> that would be so neat. But this would be a really neat um, way to decorate for January. Look at that with that pretty blue. I don't know. I'm always looking at like decorating <laughs> ideas. Um, and then let's see, what is this one? The correct heel treatment. This is the lavender. Okay, let me, let me get organized here because this is why it gets a little confusing. So then we've got a sleep 
that's called Rose and Lavender. I don't like this one at all, you guys. This one has got way too much rose in it for me, and it is not relaxing to me at all. This one, to me, just smells like straight on rose. It's really strong. So that's in the purple. So then they do have a sleep, and this one is actually lavender and vanilla. And it's funny because I actually didn't realize, I, this This is where I got confused. And, I, you know, I've been doing Bath and Body Works for a long time, and I'm confused. So there's a new scent called Lavender Vanilla that I actually don't have that I, I definitely need. I'm seeing it in the Pillow and Body Mist, the Body Cream, and it actually has <laughs> a light blue band at the bottom. Like I said, these are confusing because they're all like banded with the different colors at the bottom, but they all say sleep. <laughs> so it's like that's where the confusing part comes in. I do have the Lavender Vanilla in the cracked heel treatment. Um, there's also a body butter, by the way, which makes it even more confusing because it looks just like the cracked heel treatment. So I would advise like making sure you know which one is which and not using this as a body butter. This one smells really light to me, but I like it. This is a super thick formula. Um, I did notice, it was funny, because I was trying to figure out like what this was. So there's like a sticker on the bottom, and this actually has um, uh, alpha hydroxy acid in it, the AHA, which I did not know. But like I said, this is a heel treatment. Just don't mix that up with the body butter. <laughs> so that's kind of important, because I was like, wait a minute, they look exactly the same, which I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, there is also a new style in the apothecary jars, because normally these are a brown jar. These are glass, by the way. Um, it seems like all of the new designs, they're all blue. So this one is actually... Oh, we do have lavender vanilla. See, this is where it gets a little confusing. These, these jars all look alike now. Okay, let me try the lavender vanilla in the, um, the cream. I haven't used this one yet. Let me try it. Oh, that does smell good. I really like this one, you guys. Lavender vanilla smells amazing. Holy cow. Oh, that is relaxing. <laughs> Just fall asleep. Um, <laughs> this is so confusing. So they have a chamomile bergamot. They have a cedar wood vanilla. Um, they have a lavender vanilla. They have a rose lavender. So I, I, I'm kind of a little bit like torn on how much I like the new packaging because it all looks the same, <laughs> which is really confusing if you're trying to find your set. So my advice for you if you're shopping aromatherapy now, actually the eucalyptus spearmint bottle is green, thank goodness. Um, kind of make sure you, you know what you're buying because it's easy to buy the wrong one. I actually, believe it or not, when I bought the apothecary jar, thought I was buying cedarwood vanilla um, and I ended up with the lavender vanilla. Luckily, I like that one though. So they also have a lavender vanilla foot scrub. I just bought that on Body Care Day. So I'm going to rev review those foot scrubs for you. I'm kind of excited about those to the moisturizing body wash. I actually have a moisturizing body wash in the Stargazing Meditation. I love this packaging, by the way. So I'm going to put a screenshot up of the new style moisturizing body wash packaging. Now, as you can see, how you do this is you color code. So for example, the moisturizing body wash in the Rose Lavender has a bottle that is this color, it matches the band on the bottom, which that's kind of good because at least you can color code. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> and then the Cedarwood Vanilla one has kind of got this, um, this gray band on the bottom. I tend to like these bright <laughs> bottles. I don't know. So like I said, we'll see if I can get used to the new packaging, but I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what was happening um, with this new packaging because it, it, it felt a little bit confusing to me. Um, you just have to make sure you're aware of what's new and then, like I said, you might be able to clean up for semi-annual sale because remember last year, it was like in the spring, we got an entire line of like um, tropical aromatherapy. This one was Revive. It was Mandarin, uh, no, Brazilian Orange Mandarin and guava. This one was actually really good. This one smells amazing. Um, and then 
last Valentine's Day, we had an entire collection that kind of had these really pretty bottles. They were like purple and pink. This one is called Calm. It is cedar wood and orange. I know a lot of people liked this one. They also had one called Passion. Um, and then hoo, 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 we had the yoga line. Oh my gosh, you guys, this Zen line, stargazing meditation, hot spring spa, sunrise yoga. So my guess, and like I said, this is just my personal guess, is that you might be able to pick up a lot of this stuff for 75% off at semi-annual sale because I'm thinking they're going to want to bring in all of this new packaging because it seems like that's the way they're going with aromatherapy, all new packaging. So that's good news for all of us. Um, I am noticing online, and hopefully you noticed this, I should have brought this up uh, for my Body Care Day video. I don't even know if they had it the other day. They've got the online exclusive, the Peppermint. I would stock up on that for semi-annual sale. Um... And like I said, it's, it's better to wait because semi-annual sale is going to be here before you know it. Hopefully these things are still available. You're going to get a better selection in stores for semi-annual sale because they got all their old stock. Um, what else do I have here? Oh, they did bring back Joyful this year. That was kind of a disappointment. It'd be really nice if you, sometimes in the semi-annual sale bins, you can find like a unicorn and you're like, whoo I just found like three Joyfuls. Um, they brought this out last year. It was joyful, thankful, and peaceful. Peaceful was the, um, uh, what was that? Uh, the peppermint one, but it had something else in it. Oh, tea tree and peppermint. I did not like that one at all, you guys. It was way too strong. They had thankful, which was the frankincense and myrrh. That was really good, but my favorite was joyful, which is black currant and pine. I still have a set of this left. I'm so happy. Um, it smells like a pine tree. I mean, literally very piney. So this one was amazing. I don't know why they didn't bring that back this year. That was kind of odd. Um, but anyway, I just kind of wanted to do an aromatherapy update for you guys. So you, you're you on the lookout for the new packaging. So like I said, be on the lookout. This is terrible lighting <laughs> with my, um, it's funny, anything white just reflects so badly with my lighting. But remember the colored bands at the bottom of these and then match everything up if you're looking for your scent. Um, everything is going to match, like I said, the bottom band so you know exactly what you're buying. So that is my aromatherapy tip going into semi-annual sale. And cross your fingers. Um, a lot of stuff like even these like these mists, these could be on sale for 75% off. Kind of hoping that we need to stock up on these. I use these. I usually like, I have a curtain right over here curtains. <laughs> I spray my curtains with these and then they make the room smell really good. So um, I absolutely love these uh, pillow mists. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed my little aromatherapy demonstration here. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.